welcome back. My name is Nicole Fye. This is Kevin Gray, and alongside us is Miss Taryn Temple. The KU men's basketball team heading to the Big 12 tourney isn't considered news so much as it's considered knowledge around a town like Lawrence, brimming with crimson and blue faithful. Even though the Hawks have secured the Big 12 Conference Championship for the 12th time in a row, do they have what it takes to prove it all over again and nab the conference title? Can I, you know, I don't, I don't see them doing it. Texas is... Uh, that, that defense, Shaka Smart, is really doing things. But let's look at what they were able to do well against Iowa State on Saturday. Kansas lost to Iowa State earlier this season in Ames. It was the last time the Jayhawks have lost this season, but they got another crack at them. Emotional night for senior Perry Ellis. But the Ames, Iowa, looking to spoil it. Between the legs, shoots up the three, and it's good. <laughs> the Cyclones looking for the sweep. Frank finds Wayne on the... Wing and it's good. But the Cyclones won't go away. Looking for the dish to burn and one, and the Cyclones are getting fired up. Later in the half, miss layup by Niang, followed up by senior Jamari Trailers there to snag it up. Fires it up the court to Devontae Graham. Looking, looking, says, I'll take that, and he drains it. Great confidence, and the crowd ignites. He's fired up. Cyclones looking for a basket, and it's senior versus senior. First team all-conference, Georgia Niang hits a pretty one over Jamari Trailer. Cyclones up three. But Perry Ellis wouldn't let his senior night be spoiled. Mason draws his defender, dishes to Ellis on the elbow. Signature spin move to put the Jayhawks up five with just a minute and a half remaining. Ultimately, Kansas finishes their last home game of the season with a W, 85-78, and a few Bill Self tears saying farewell to his seniors. Now let's let's look at what Bill Self actually said because he talked a lot about the seniors in his post game mm -hmm. conference. You know, earlier in the year we weren't closing quite as well, obviously, uh, but here of late we seem to have confidence down the stretch. Well, I don't know if we have a go to guy like like Michigan State or OU has, you know, that they can go to, but I think we have multiple guys that are comfortable being that guy depending on the situation, and and Devontae's certainly comfortable in that moment. All right, the Jayhawks did a lot well, so let's take a look at what exactly it was that they did well in, in Allen Fieldhouse on Saturday. The, the Jayhawks had it going early. You're going to see here Landon Lucas is in the corner, and he's going to set a ball screen for Wayne Selden, who's in the paint right now. There, he moves, gets the ball from Frank Mason. He has a lot of room to work with because the defenders can't reach him because of the ball screen. He lets it fly, bang, three-pointer, Jayhawks feeling nice. But they didn't do everything right. Here there's a lot of space right in front of the basket. Perry Ellis sees, that, sees George Niang, can't let go. Landon Lucas tries to help. He misses the box out and the Iowa State gets the rebound. Here. Uh, Kansas gets way a lot, a lot better here. They're able to force a missed shot, and they just outrun the defense. And Perry Ellis is able to challenge for a backcourt screen. The defense can't react quickly enough. Devontae Graham sinks the three. So there were a lot of good things the Jayhawks did on Saturday, and it's really important for them to continue mm -hmm. to do that stuff in the tournament going forward. Yeah, hoping to repeat that. The Jayhawks play Thursday afternoon against the winner of Oklahoma State and Kansas State, and it should be an exciting game. Next up, we talk baseball and softball and both teams' performances this past weekend, so keep it right here. Yeah. 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 